Well, good morning. I thought I'd do uh, another video on stairs and maybe one more. Uh, this is an angle right stairway, which could just as easily be constructed as an angle left stairway. I may do one more on a switchback stairway. Um, probably won't get into circular, but uh, I will do a straight angle right, angle left, and then uh, probably a, um, a switchback stair. Uh, on this one, I let the, uh, uh, the, the treads and risers stick by an inch and a quarter so that you could wrap, uh, after it's sheetrocked, you could wrap the carpet around uh, and uh, have it stick out just a little bit. It looks nice. Uh, I went ahead and drew in a handrail it's got to be 34 inches from the top of the step uh, to the top of the of the uh, handrail, give or take an inch or two. Uh, same with the one. Uh, this, the end of this needs to run by the step. That's uh, what they're doing now, about a foot. Uh, the end of this one has to run by, the top has to run by the end of the nosing there, uh, about a foot. You have to have these returns to the wall. Uh, that's required. Uh, the... Uh, uh, I, I guess they're afraid of somebody getting their coat or something hooked, hooked on, the, on the end of that and tripping them up. Uh, it's not hard to make the returns anyway. So um, this is still the same mathematics as the other stairs uh, in, the, in the previous video. Uh, let me move this off the screen. There we go. <coughs> so... Um, that's just kind of an overall view of it. And this one I framed in. Normally, you'd, yeah, there might be a bathroom underneath. There might be a bathroom under this area right in here. Uh, in that case, you'd put a little access panel here where you could, where you could utilize that for storage. You know, that people like to store their, store their uh, uh, Christmas tree decorations and stuff like that that they don't use very often. Uh, and if there, if there was no bathroom here, you might put the access panel here. Uh, usually just a low door about three feet high, uh, something to crawl in there, uh, you know, or you could turn this in, uh, into a shallow closet, you know, sheet rocket. Uh, you can still get a coat closet in there uh, uh, with storage stuck in around back around the corner uh, for your Christmas tree decorations. There's a lot of things you can do with that under stair space. Uh, the front view, let's see. Uh, oh, I want to show you one more thing here. Let me uh, go up here and I'll go to edit on hide last. Uh, <coughs> even if you, <coughs> I put the stair, the stair rail back in. I believe in most jurisdictions, even if you put a stair rail in like this, you still have to put the handrail in. So uh, this was a very simply constructed uh, uh, stair rail. It's just a uh, nice four by four post, two by six top and bottom rails, and a three quarter inch uh, uh, EMT electrical conduit uh, for the uh, balusters. So that's that. Now uh, we get to this. As you can see, if you compare this with the last uh, drawing on stairs, you'll see that the math is exactly the same. Uh, you got seven risers here. You got seven risers here, that makes 14. You got 13 steps, which means you have six steps here and you have six steps here. The 13th step, the landing is a step right there. You just calculate that as a step. Now, it's not necessary, depending on your space, you might only have two steps down here. Uh, in other words, this landing my, this this tread right here might become the landing. It, it doesn't matter. It, it just means you have less treads here and more treads there. It, 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 uh, the math is always the same. Th this would just be the, t the top of the landing in this case would be 2 times the 7 and 11 16 That's all. That, that'd be the top of your landing. Um, if you get into building stairs, you'll, you'll, you'll quickly discover that it's, it's not all that complicated. Uh, now the left view 
uh, again, there's your 11 and 7 sixteenths, 11 and 7 sixteenths uh, for the height of your, uh, from the floor to the top of that step, uh, that tread from the, from the top of this tread to the top of this tread, remembering to deduct the thickness of one thread, a tread, whatever that tread may be, one inch or an inch and a half, three quarters of an inch, whatever it is, you got to deduct that amount from the bottom here, all right? And the top of this landing, irregardless how thick it is, this is inch and eighth plywood I've got drawn on there. The top of it is still a multiple of seven and eleven sixteenths. All right, uh, nothing complicated. In this case, I drew this landing at exactly halfway, and you can see both of them add up to eleven and thirteen sixteenths, which is divisible by seven and eleven sixteenths. Scene four. What did I put in the scene four? Anything else I want to say about that? Uh, no. Uh, scene four. Now this, this, this is nothing but another overview. Uh, obviously, you could you could you could flush those treads up with the uh, uh, stringer, all right, and then and then frame walls in here, all right, and and then they, you know like a lot of stairways are. Uh, you know, you just push everything back uh, if you if you choose. I mean, if that's the way the house is designed, that's the way or way the way you want to design it. Uh, there's no reason. Uh, this is just to kind of get you started. This is this is just to show that stairs aren't complicated. If you're interested in the math, go back to the first video I did on the straight uh, stairs. The math is exactly the same, no different. It's just the way you construct it. Well, uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably will do another one uh, later on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, how to frame a switchback stairway where you have a long landing here. This, this landing is, is stretched out uh, double length plus four inches four and a half inches so you have enough room between the, 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 in other words, this step would come up, you'd walk over, and then you'd come back up this way. Uh, you'd come back up uh, uh, 180 degrees from where you went up. So uh, maybe I'll do one on that too. The math again is exactly the same. Uh, no difference in the math. Uh, yeah, it, it's very simple. That, that, that landing would be, in this case, I got a 38 inch square landing. So you'd have a 38 inch times two plus the thickness of the wall uh, with the sheetrock on each side between the up, uh, the lower and the upper section of stairs, that's all. So, well, I hope this uh, video was uh, maybe enlightening. If you have any questions, uh, uh, just post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks again for watching my videos. And I will, I promise, I'll get back to radio arm size. I got some things cooking in my head. Uh, but I wanted to get this stair thing out of my mind. Uh, you know, I, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I, I finally decided to just do it. So thanks.